What's going on everybody? And in this week's lesson, we are gonna check out three different types of drop D riffs. Now, what do I mean by that? Basically just some three very general overview of types or stylistically different things that you'll come across in drop D riffs, all right? So let's get going. The first riff is gonna focus basically on the O1 area that is oh so common. So let's give it a quick listen and then we'll just break it down ever so slightly. So as you can see, right, we have a fierce down picking. We need that, that's part of the element here. And we're basically pulling off of the one open and then re-attacking on an upstroke. Like that. Pull off, open. Right, very Lamb of God, I think. And then the notes that I'm hitting, six, three. Those are the only different notes that we hit. One, three and six. Now why, what makes this riff work? Essentially, it's tension, okay? We have this one O. Those notes are very close together with each other. I play them together, very tense. The sixth fret happens to be a tritone, right, from the open D. So those notes together, come together with the third note and make the minor chord, right? So you have a lot of tension in relation to this note, which is why that style of riff works so well. Very Lamb of God. It always reminds me of some Pantera. Things of that nature, that O1 area, a lot of fierce down picking and chugging goes a long way. Now, the next type of riff is more pentatonic based and again, a very common theme that you see in drop D riffs. And what we're gonna talk about here is basically hammer-ons and pull-offs, right? So again, let's check out the riff and then we'll come down and break it down ever so slightly. So that's a really fun riff. You know, I, I'm reminiscent of like Spoon Man or, or those kind of riffs. But it's cliche, decades, right? That, it's not original, <laughs> okay? But again, it's very common, right? Which what make things cliche in the first place because they work. Now, for the framework, I'm basically using the D pentatonic scale, right? Across, horizontally across the low string, open, three, five, seven, 10, 12. And that sound works really well for riffs like this. So I'm basically walking up, right? 0, 5, 7, and pulling off on the seven, to the open. Jumping up and hitting the 10. And then a couple of pull-offs, 7, 0, 5, 0. And then three, five, three. And then just for a simple variation, instead of ending down on three, the other common place with riffs like this is up near the octave and just 10, 12, 12, 12. Right? Think Metallica's Bread Fan. Right? Tool, Hooker. So many songs. Red Hot Chili Peppers. It's, it's, again, it's, it's a very common theme. You see it a lot in riffs. Now, the final type of riff that you often see a lot, is, again, very cliche. We're gonna go all the way up to 12th position and essentially create riffs based off of the octave, right? So if I open D and 12th fret, that's an octave, same note, just up higher. Now again, Lamb of God, Slayer, Tool, tons of bands right in this area. It's very cliche, but again, it works. And let's check out a riff and then we'll come back and break it down. So 
So that riff, again, the tension note I'm using is a half step below, right? I'm playing and grabbing the 11, running up and grabbing 15, which is just the same as three. So that tension note near the octave is a half step below. You'll see a half step above, really common. That sound is really common, right? And then the second half of the riff, just drop down the eight and seven. Okay, so again, this riff, the, the octave play just works really well. You can add some pull-offs, very common theme, easy to come up with fun ideas with. Okay, and you can insert different types of tension as you see fit. And there you go. Three different types or styles of drop D riffs give you a couple of different areas and techniques to look at, incorporate in your writing, and then there you go. Three different songs and you're on your way, right? Down in the description below, you can find a link for all the tabs as well as backing tracks you can play along with. That's all on the Patreon. And as always, let me know what you come up with. So until then, I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.